about the United States anymore. It's now about profits. And it, the reason the Occupy Wall Street movement is here is because they actually recognize the seat of power, which is Wall Street. They own our politicians. Every one of them has signed off this Grover Norquist thing. Who is Grover Norquist? He's not an elected individual to start signing a pledge to him. He owes his allegiance to me as a voter and you as voters and citizens of the United States of America. Hello, everybody. My name is Prapana Smith, and I am a local business owner here in Vista. My wife has a wonderful little preschool, which she just opened uh, some six months back. We are the true job creators. We're trying to create 15 jobs for preschool teachers. We're trying to provide a service to community here in Vista for parents who need care for their children. But guess what? They're not working, and they want to work. We need jobs. It's, yeah. not about, it's not about the government getting out of control. It's about the government getting in alignment with the people, and that means all of us. The government is in the pockets of the banks, and the banks aren't lending. I started a business, I didn't get a dime from the bank. Went to the banks, and they said no. I went to private friends, people with a few, hundred, few thousand dollars here and there, loaned me money to start a business. No bank will help us. We need jobs. We need Congress to help us create jobs. And the gentleman upstairs, the gentleman has an office upstairs, he and his party have been stopping job creation for a long time. They voted down the Job Act. If they'd have passed it, I guarantee it there'd be a teacher or a fireman out there who'd get a job and put their kid in my preschool. And they're not coming because these guys are not promoting jobs. This is a jobs crisis. It's not a deficit crisis. It's a job crisis. Thank you. <laughs> well, it's good to see everybody come out on a windy day like this. I was debating when I come over. It was cold windy. I, I'm from uh, Escondido Occupy. We meet every Tuesday over there. Last night here in Vista, we organized Occupy Vista here in Vista. And we started with 15 members. And, and this group will meet Wednesday at uh, the Pearl uh, Bridge. It's a brewery uh, going out of town. So if anybody's interested, you can talk to me, you can talk to Frank, Dick. There's a lot of us here from uh, Occupy Vista. But this is the way I look at it. Anybody, any congressman or senator that signed Grover Norquist's pledge, they invalidated themselves as representatives of the people, and I demand that they resign immediately. So this guy, Daryl Lysa, signed that pledge. And his pledge is not to his constituency, his pledge is to one man. That is unconstitutional. He is supposed to represent his constituency, not normal government office. So I, I have a petition, and, and I want everybody to sign my petition. We're requesting that he resign. My name is Robert Freeman. I'm in the phone book. I taught at Palomar College for 16 years. I designed the state seal, state of California. You say that again, museums sir? all over the country. Pardon? You say that again? Oh, what? Your name is who? My name is Robert Freeman. What did you do? I'm a professional artist. <laughs> you can see my hard work on robertfreemanartist.com. But I'm more involved with Occupy right now because my my uh, income is really sunk. People don't have discretionary income to buy any of us artists artwork. So all of us artists are in the same boat. And we blame this Republican administration, this I don't know what you call them. There's mostly congressmen, I guess, the senators, for ruining our economy. Because McConnell has said his main job is to see that the problems are not working. No, his job is to see that the American people are, are well taken care of. So, you know, you, you, don't, you, don't, you, don't, you don't take office just, just solely to defeat whosoever the, the standing senator. That, that's not what the Constitution says. Then we have three branches of government, and they're all supposed to cooperate. But they're not. That's why 
most of us here in uh, our movement, Occupy, that's, that's our main beef. And then the newscasters saying, oh, well, our, our message isn't clear. Well, our message is very clear. We're on it for money. We have no money. You know? I don't, you know, they should understand that. Okay, Sean here. Thank you. What, what, what is Occupy's platform? What is Occupy's platform? Pardon? What is Occupy's platform? Occupy. I'm not employed, but I'm not Occupy. Okay, Occupy, first of all, is that we, we see what, what the Congress and the Senate, the, 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 the leaders of this country, that they're, they're out really just to make the President of the United States look bad. That seems to be their pro, uh, program. He's doing a good job by himself. Who? <laughs> We do not uh, back any politicians. I mean, we're not backing Republicans or Independents or, or President Obama or anybody. Our, our beef really is with Congress and the Senate. We, we, they're, they're paid good money to go up there and do their job. And they're not doing their job. Because a lot of you, how come you guys are here? Probably because you, you you're not working. You know? Or you got laid off. But, and you're here because is here. This country is just drifting down to the rest of the world. We were, we were the number one in the world. No, China economically is number one. We're losing, we're falling by in education. There's a teacher here taking photographs right here. Anyway, our, our educational system is, is great. We're closing schools in San Diego. What, what happened?